All right, hey guys, thank you so much for dropping by my channel. And today I am going to do an updated um, wax update, like what I'm burning. Now, during Mother's Day, I received a beautiful candle, and I would like to thank Elle for sending her sending me this for. Mother's Day? I didn't expect it. It was a, an unusual surprise because she is the first one that gave me anything that really didn't know me. Or she might know of me, but she just sent it to me out of just wanting something to give something to someone, I guess, that they um, feel like they share something in common or going through the same um, struggles in life. So I would like to thank Elle for this, and I really, truly appreciate it. She didn't have to do it, but she did it out of the kindness of her heart, and God bless you for that. That is so awesome, you guys. I mean, I only met her like a handful of times, but she's awesome. And during her ups and downs, she would like approach me, and I'd listen to her, and you know, we all have certain type of people in our life that we just feel comfortable saying stuff to. And I guess she does, you know, feel comfortable saying stuff to me. So I really appreciate her doing this. And I don't know, it was just so weird that I, she was the first person in this town that's ever done this to me without me having to approach them for anything or just, I don't know, because I, I don't work with her. I, you know, I don't go to school with her. I didn't, she's just out of the blue, you guys. So I'm really giving her much props for that random act of, act of kindness or she's just really kind or she understands what I was going through, you know, the whole time during the pandemic, it's just all kinds of other things. And I'd like to thank her for that. But um, this is the newest um, candle that I have because I haven't picked up any new candles, you guys. As you know, I've been into wax melting. And um, I've given away um, my candles as gifts as well. Some of them, not all. Um, I think I gave one to um, another lady that has an office downtown. And then I gave some to my sons. And then I gave some to um, some other um, lady. And then um, mostly it's, it's ladies, you guys. So I'm going to update you guys with what I am burning this one is the river house and it's apple pie you guys know how long I've had this and it's still here and I've burned oops sorry you guys I think I banged up the phone <laughs> okay um yeah I've burned that much and I think I picked this up from CBS. And then I'm also still working on the Illume Heirloom Pumpkin. And I think I picked this up at the Craft Mall. And that's that. That's how much I burned on that one. This one is the Huntington Home Island Fiesta. This one is from Aldi. Now, when it gets a little bit warmer outside, I usually bring out the candles, but it's still kind of chilly. So, um, it just depends how chilly it is or how warm it is. Oh, I think these ones are my cotton rounds. So that's not included with that one. Well, I just use that to put it there. Now, this one is Tuscany Kennel Cinnamon Stick. Um, I think this one was a Christmas present as well. And I've burned uh, 
that much on it. Now, you guys know when you guys um, do your candles, you make sure you keep an eye on them and that there's always somebody there because um, they're fire hazards and you guys um, need to switch them up if you're going to do like a whole day thing. You, you just um, have a scent for a few hours because some people, they just leave them running the whole time, but me I switch it up because the the glass the the container it gets super hot and I don't want it to crack all the way like um cause cause it to crack so I tried to check up on it like after 3 hours tops I shut it off and then I wait a little while to enjoy the scent of whatever it is that I first burned and then I switch it out. This one is the Bath and Body Works Hot Cocoa and Cream. And I burned this much on this one. It would be best too if you guys use the one with a bulb. Or the, um, the warmer. You guys could also chuck this in a warmer. And it would also give you a scent. So it's up to you how you guys want to burn your candles. If you don't use the wick, then you won't have the soot that goes through your vents and through the ceilings of your um, house, your your homes, your apartments. So if you just get like a, a burner, you also could melt it. You could also do it that way. Oh, these are um, wax melts. Okay, this is not it. That's not a candle. <laughs> And I also got um, some new waxes, some new wax melts. And I'll do that updated one on the next video of my other wax melt because I've just updated my stash tag on that. This one is the Essential Elements Jasmine and Patchouli. And this one's by Kroger. I this up by Kroger and I burned that much on it. Um, yeah, this is another, yep, there's another wax melt. I'll put this over here. I didn't even know I had those out. Because if you guys watch my previous videos of my, um, corner, I just have it by the corner. And then I just leave them there. This one is the coconut palm and lime because SAS is coming up. And I'm going to see what all kind of candles I'll be able to um, find. And this is by Bath and Body Works, coconut palm and lime. And I burned that much on it. And this one is eucalyptus mint and leaf. This is by Essential Elements. It has a, a wooden lid. And this is by Kroger, and I've burned that much on this one. Next up is a Yankee Candle Coconut Beach. And I've burned that much on this one. Next up is the Frosted Fur, and I think I picked this one up from Dollar General. And I've burned... Uh, I haven't even burned it. Well, maybe it was in the line to get burned next. Because I was trying to arrange my candle corner. And then my candle box, the book box or, or bookcase. This one is White Barn, Tea and Lemon. Again, I burned that much on this candle. Now on down to the wax melts. Yeah, with this type of weather, I'm able to burn um, all kinds of seasons. So it's just according to the weather outside, that's what type of wax I usually burn. This one is by Better Homes and Gardens, Harvest Apple Picking, and I burn that much. So usually I'll post them on my empties video. This one is the Better Homes and Garden Palm Beach Paradise. 
I have burned that much. So that one's close to getting um, down there. This one is um, Cedar by the vendor, the wax vendor that I picked up from, um, I think it was a fundraiser. And um, it's really light, so next time I burn this, I'm going to use probably four. But I did support her because I do love wax. And anyone that ventures into that field, you know I try to support them. But... Um, Again, these are local people, so they're not um, big companies like um, Super Tarts or any of that. So they haven't really um, um, mastered their craft, but it starts with just a few samples. So um, I think, um, hold on you guys. I think the name of um, the lady was Miss Connie. Um, Connie's something rather, but um, it, it's okay, and it's really mild, so um, the scent throw on this one, on two cubes, I would give it a three, and me personally, I like wax melts that throw real well, so there's my take on that one. This one is the Sensationals uh, Festive Bubbly. And I have um, four more left. This one is the Better Homes and Garden Cre Creepy. <laughs> Creamy Apple Cider. And I have four um, cubes left. This one is the um, Swan Creek Honey Soaked Apples. And I have that much left. You guys can tell I really enjoy Swan Creek. Every time I visit the Amish Country store, I always try to pick up two. And this one's about to say goodbye to me. So you guys know I'll probably go over there again. But whenever I get groceries or the supplies that we usually get from there, I pick up wax too. Oh, yeah. Um, Better Homes and Garden Candy Caramel Pecan. And I have that much left in there. Then this one is the Orange Cinnamon Rolls. And I have that much left on that one. As you can see, I started another one of the Swan Creek Mango and Peach Slices. Again, I usually, when I pick this up, these types of waxes, um, I've seen them in person, and I really enjoy the scent, so I go ahead and pick them up. And last up is my Scentsy Brick. It's my last Scentsy, you guys. And I have burned one. You can tell I'm, you know, saving it for um, special occasions because I know I can't usually um, go for a drive and pick up a Scentsy, not unless I call up a Scentsy vendor. Now, I think I also picked this up at a, um, a booth. So I'll probably wait till then, you know, to... Um, pick that up it'll be somewhere in the future so yeah that's it you guys that is all i have for my updated candle and wax collection um not not collection what i'm currently burning this is what i'm currently burning right now so more than likely i always add you know these things like better homes and gardens and um, swan creek because i do find them around me so, um, the other ones I don't really burn a whole lot of, like the Goose Creek, the Kringle, stuff like that, because that one's, um, I have to order it by mail, and then sometimes my um, packages, they get lost or messed up, so I kind of um, slowed down doing that, but the other things, if I can wait for a while until I get them, I do order stuff online, and the rest of my family does too. So it's just, the wax is really weird because for some reason when I pick up um, from Mercari or a wax vendor, 
I don't know. It just gets lost, and then it'll say 14 days, and then it's still not here in 14 days, and it gets lost in the mail, and then I say forget about it, and then it pop, you know, pops out of nowhere. It's just a big heyday. So I just use the ones that I could um, pick up around me on a regular. <laughs>